Hey, Crafty Peeps, it's Angel Holt with Angel Holt Designs. I'm here to show you another fabulous tutorial. And, uh, yeah, it's been a while. Um, I've been a little under the weather. Busy, busy, busy helping my family and, uh, dealing with, uh, some kind of allergy thing. So if you hear me cough or snizzle or whatever you want to call it, I do apologize. So, okay. I had to put my chapstick on. All right. Looky, looky, looky. We are going to decorate this beautiful vintage photo. Now, I altered this vintage photo in my Adobe Photoshop element, and I know many of you do not have that program or have the 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 skills to do that. So, I'm offering this download over in my Etsy where it's already ready to go at an eight and a half by 11. So all you have to do is print it out and cut her out. That's it. I've done all the sizing for you. I've done all of the Adobe Photoshop work for you. It's over there in the Etsy store. So I'll put a link in the description box down below. Okay, now I took a piece of regular basil board or chipboard. Um, I've cut out a, um, I just got a piece of paper that um, I had out of a paper stack, and I'm going to lay this on there because I want the word couture um, showing. So, um, and if some of the dress gets cut off, that's fine, um, but we're going to be decorating the dress and uh, really decorating this up. But before I do that... I've got a thinner piece of chipboard here. It's really, really thin. And I'm going to run this through my sticker maker, sticker creative station max, create a big sticker and glue her on here like this so I can have the stability of the paper because I printed her off at a high quality onto regular computer paper. That's the way I print mine. And I'm just cutting out you know, just cutting out around there, just like that. Um, and that's what I've done. Um, this is just regular computer paper. Nothing fancy or special about it. Um, and then we're going to decorate her dress using different elements, like laces and trims and all kinds of stuff. So, um, this is going to be like a mixed media art dress slash collage. So, um, what I'm going to do, first, I am going to run this through my Sticker Maker Max and make this a big sticker because this is going to go on here. And I want it, I don't want it bulking, I don't want it to bubble or anything. So, what I'm going to do is cut off what I don't need. like that just hold it here there we go and I'll trim off the edges if there are any that need to be okay so um, the creative Zyron creative station max has a nine, a nine inch base. So I'm just going to run it through, make it a sticker. And then I'm also going to run her through and make a sticker as well. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, as with any uh, Zyron uh, sticker maker, is you're going to press firmly to make sure you have an even adhesion. And this is just an added security measure, you know, not security measure, but you know what I mean. Just so that you know that you have 
an even. There we go. And just peel away the top layer. And peel this away. See? All beautifully done. Okay. You really tell you what, I'm going to start up here at the top. And just work your way to the other side. Slowly but surely. Like that. And see, that's on there without any bulk or anything. It's on there perfect. And if you have any little strays left over, You're just going to trim these away like that. Okay. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to, now if you don't have a Creative Station Max, you can use, um, I would do the sides with a um, glue stick or a tape runner. But you're going to be very careful when doing this because computer paper is very thin. And I'm going to glue her. There's, you don't have to be like precise or anything. We're just gluing her down because we're going to be cutting her out. And I always do this to give my pieces that stability that I like. So I'm going to cut her out and I'll be right back. Okay, I've cut her out as you can see here. Now, what I want to do is right here I am going to very carefully cut out around her hand and because I don't want it hidden when hand looks very weird so I'm going to have to clean it up but what we're going to be doing and let me show you because I'm going to have to do I'm going to have to work on that um, I'm going to paint this white with white gesso okay because I'm going to layer a piece of lace on top and this is a sleeve from a wedding dress and I am going to be putting this on top of there but I want the background white because I can still see the gray from the photo so and then we're going to be um, you know layering and creating and this project would be really great um, it's very shabby chic yet a uh, very um, couture um, you could do this with a lot of vintage um, photos. Now, the photo I'm using, if you do not want the already um, pre-measured and um, a design that I'm using here, um, you can uh, find it for free over on my Um, Pinterest board and again I'll have a link a link to that as well 
Now see her fingers just look really weird. So I'm just going to kind of, she's holding that dress sort of. That looks kind of weird, doesn't it? But I'll fix it. We'll figure it out. But see, now I'm able with her hand remote, uh, lifted up, I'm able, see, and now I can kind of hide it like that to where it looks like she's holding up her dress, just like it was in the original, like that. You see what I'm saying? So, all right. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of coats of gesso, and I'm going to gesso all the way up to her dress here. I'm going to just sew the whole thing from here all down because we're going to be covering her bodice as well. Okay. So, and I'm just using regular white gesso, nothing fancy or anything. Um, it's just regular white gesso by Pro Art. And Okay. All right. And all you're going to do is just take it, and I would dry in between uh, coatings so that you can, um, so that you can do that. Also, um, the reason why I put it on the, the chipboard is so that you can do this. In case you don't want to put the layers of lace or trim on there and you want to do a, like a beaded dress or a collage dress or whatever, you have the stability of um, doing so because you couldn't do that with regular computer paper or lightweight paper because it would just tear apart. And that is why I always put it on um, a piece of chipboard. Now, the thin chipboard, you can get that off the back of a cereal box. You can get that just about anywhere. Now, my basil board, um, it is by Basil, and I get that from my distributor. But Joanne's Michaels or Hobby Lobby has um, a, a similar chipboard that you can purchase to use. Now, up here very very like that okay and there we go so I'm gonna paint a couple of layers of this gesso on here dry it and then I'll be right back Okay, I have her painted, as you see here, and you know what I was thinking as I was drawing her, you could set this up like that on a table and make a bellowing dress and make it a centerpiece for a party or a bridal shower. Mm -hmm. Good idea. So, um, what I'm doing is I want to work on the background a little bit. Um, this is a lace dolly stencil from Prima. And I'm just going to um, use some golden gel molding paste. And I am going to put a thin, thin layer um, onto this stencil, onto the background. I just want to dress up the background a little bit. I don't want to do a lot to it because my main focus is the dress and this is going to um, really the dress is really going to take the focus of this project and that's what I want and um, so you don't have to be unless you want to I mean you can really dress up the the background as much as you want, but I am just going 
to add just a little bit of texture to it. Now, once this dries, I'm going to ink it uh, with a, a brown ink. Um, just ink over top of it. Um, I'm going to use a Crema um, stamp, not stamp, uh, ink. And um, it's probably going to be like a attic dust or one that looks similar to um, the background. And again, this is just adding texture. And if you have any hanging over the sides just and I'm not going to put any down here because of course all of that's going to be covered with the dress in fact I'm just going to put a little bit right here just a little bit always have three focal points you know in a background like three Three uh, odd numbers seem to please the eye, and it can be two large, one small, two small, one large. It doesn't matter, but it always is pleasing to the eye to have um, three focal points. As you can see there. See, I have a large, medium, and a small. So uh, I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to ink it up a little bit, and then we're going to start working on her dress which is the exciting part all right i'll be back once this is ready okay as you see here um i used uh which one did i use wasn't that one yeah it was the um shabby tote that I used on here and then on the edges to give it a, a little bit of a glittery gilded look is metallic chalk edge or gold nope 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 copper sorry copper okay so now before I glue her down um you can see she really pops off the page and stuff before I glue her down we are going to decorate her dress and uh, here's this piece of lace and the first thing I'm going to do is glue along this edge and all you're going to do is bump up your the edging of the the lace to there and you can um, this is a tablecloth that I'm using um, I got it the good wheel and I'm just going to trim up this edge to where it's a little more even okay like that and then i'm going to take my glue gun and i'm going to put a very um thin bead of glue along the edge there and then i'm going to bring this up Just press it on there. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissor and come to the point there. And I'm also going to trim away right there. And then I'm going to wrap this piece around to the back like that and then the next thing I'm going to do 
is work on this edging here. And you're just going to go all the way around and pull. Now you want to give yourself about an eighth of an inch to a fourth of an inch um, gathering so that you can wrap it around and have a clean edge. So I'm going to continue on around like that. Just press. And do the same on this side just along the edge here and just press okay and do the same along the bottom like that and press okay then right here under the arm you're going to pull and I'm going to flip that over like that you see the clean edges right there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim away and and pull taut, you know, pull it taut, work from side to side. Like that. Like so. Again, trim away any excess that you have. And don't throw away your pieces because you can use them for other projects. Okay, and then we're just going to trim that away. And now you're going to go around and finish pulling and pressing like that. Okay. There you go. Then here on the corners just trim it off at an angle. This part's not going to be seen but it would be easier on you to um, fold it up. Like that. And there you go okay now that's covered now for this little bitty baby piece all you're going to do is a little bit of glue and you can lay that on there like that let that dry a moment and then you can clip away by flipping it over like that and then snip away the excess and there you go you have a little piece there all right so now 
Now this is the sleeve of a wedding dress and in the same fashion that we did Now right here I'm going to do something different so but I do want the bellowing of I want these little scallops here to cover the bottom of the dress but I also want to make it a little bit fuller so you can do this two ways you can do tool to make it fuller or you can add some more lace but when you do add your lace you can add it to where it hangs like that just add it in sections so that's probably what I'm going to do so I'm going to clip off some more of this um, Okay, let's see. What do you need? Okay. There we go. Now, this has the ruffled edge on it. There is a wrong way and a right way. The wrong way, like Fiona says, is the zigzag. And then the front way is a straight line stitch. So keep that in mind when you do this. All right. So what you can do, starting at her waist, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap, just starting at her waist, I'm going to wrap a little bit of the material. Hope you're seeing this. I'm going to wrap a little bit of the material like that. And you know what? I might end up leaving it like this. I don't know. This is something new for me. So. So what I'm going to do. So I'm going to wrap this loosely on the back here. I have a general idea of what I want, but I never come into a project knowing exactly what I want. I come in knowing an idea. So what you're going to do is kind of pleat it, and then as you pleat it, help it bellow, bellow out like that, you know. Just kind of, and then you're going to glue them up like that and if this dress is longer than the chipboard um, background that is absolutely fine in fact you know you can want that I mean just whatever you want to do There we go. I'm gonna glue and press like that. Don't forget to lift under her hand like that. Then you can trim away. The 
any excess. My map. And again, you're going to loosely lift her hand up like that. Put some hot glue right there. Hold it down. And then you're going to loosely, when I say loosely means you're not going to pull it taut. You're just going to lay it over very gently. And then here I'm just going to trim away the excess here. Like that. Lay that over. Lay that over like that. Pin that down. You see, now that looks really nice. You pin that down like that. And then hold it up and just trim as even as you can. And say, so look, it's bellowy and it's full looking. Now, you can add another layer to get it more bellowy if you want. But remember, the more layers you put up here, the more bulk you're going to have here. And, or I think I, you know, I don't know if I'll use this because I know it's beautiful. But I just don't know yet. Let me see how it looks. See, I think it's just going to be, I don't know, I love that too. Decisions, 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 decisions. I don't know. I'm going to pull out some other materials and I will be back to show you what more I'm going to do with this. Okay. So I'm going to trim that right there. Like that. That's so pretty right there, isn't it? All right. I'll be back. Okay. I've decided to keep it um, Chevy vintage. So I'm going to work with um, this lace. And I've also pulled out some vintage um, laces that I have that are creams and stuff. So I've also pulled out a cream colored tool because I want this dress really bellowy. So I'm going to lift one of the darts that I made earlier and I'm going to glue a piece of tool down. And then I'm going to trim it like that. Now I'm only doing this between uh, some of the ruffles or darts or whatever you want to um, call them. So I'm going to hot glue this and just press it down. And what this is going to do it's just adds some more um, poof to the dress 
as you can see there. And I'm just balling up the end like this. Trim it off. Separating. Add a little bit of hot glue. Then lay that right into there. And press the fabric over top of it. And I'm going to do one more. Again, you're going to gather it. Trim it off. And I'm going to add it right in here. Press it down. like that and trim it off. Now that adds some bulkiness to her dress, see? And then um, what you can do is take it now and you're going to kind of push it up like this and you're going to glue it along the bottom there okay we're going to do the next one you're going to kind of push it up and don't worry about excess hanging off you're going to trim that away Add a little bit of glue, press, and you're going to do this for all four. Just kind of one more. Grab it. Put it right here on the edge, like that. Okay, so now that adds bulkiness, and see on the ends here, you can wrap it around and just tack it in one place, nothing. Um, drastic or anything just wrap it around like that and you're going to tack it into one place like that then you're going to flip it over and trim away the excess on the bottom not the sides just the bottom like that Now that adds fullness, and if you want, you can actually pin down or glue down your first um, ruffles or darts you made first. So, there we go. Just trim that away. that pretty okay now I have let's see where did that piece go that I had cut out well I hate when I do that I had a perfect piece cut out and I don't know what I've done with it it's like it was laying here. Oh, here it is. Okay. Now, on here, I 
again, you have a right and a wrong way to this. And as you see, you have fullness now. And you're just going to fold and uh, go around her waist like this. And we'll start right there. And press down. And this end has the ruffles on it. So if you do this with a um, tablecloth, try to keep the ruffles, you know, put the ruffles at the bottom. So I'm just going to glue that like that. Okay. Again, you're just going to hot glue right there along the waist. Lift her arm up. And on this on this end, you're going to trim away like that. You're going to fold it under. You're just going to add a little bit of hot glue along this edge. Now, if I was making this as an art dress or um, a dress, I would probably sew the edges. But this is a mixed media dress. So, let me move this out of the way. Oops, I knew that would happen. All right, so now what you're going to do is make that final ruffle like that. And you're going to glue it down. Like that. Okay, so there it is, bellowy, like that. You can pull and see how beautiful that is. Gorgeous. And then right here, along the side, as you see there, I'm just going to glue that down like that. And then I'm going to do it only on this upper side right here. like that so now when we put it on our board it hangs down And you can, when you put it on your board, 
you can most definitely will be gluing and and um you know gluing and uh, repositioning the dress as much as you want that's so pretty now of course now we've got to work around the waist and get that um, nice and neat and I'm going to cut away some of the bulk here because it's all hot glued and cut away that bulk there see it now it's a clean crisp corner it's almost like a wedding gown <laughs> okay let's see now I have some of this trim I need something more dramatic something more dramatic let's see what this looks like now I'm just playing around now hang on Now that looks pretty. This can be ordered from May Store at creatingwithdetailstore.com. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just leave it like that. And as you notice, I have it at an angle because the, she's turned sideways. So the front of her dress is over here. So I'm just going to tack that down. I like the way that come out. Just going to lay it over and press. And then I'm going to clip away the excess. Like that. Make sure I have it out. What oh, touched my arm? And just press and clip away. The excess there. Now for her waist, I'm just going to scoop that down just a little bit. And I'm going to adhere it right there. And then I'm going to scoop this up right there. Like so. And to make it look like she's holding her dress, I'm going to bend this up just a hair and I'm going to glue it like that. Just like that. It doesn't have to be all perfect and we don't want it that way. Looking gorgeous, looking gorgeous. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm just going to tack down here on the bottom. I'm just going to tack that right there. And I'm going to do the same on this one. Just going to do a tack. Like 
There we go. Isn't that amazing? I just love it. I love how it's coming out. And could you imagine that sitting on a table as a centerpiece? I could. Okay. So now what you're going to do, if you want, you can take the rest of this and you can find um, a beautiful piece to use for the bodice. Let's see. Let's snip that away. And you're just going to glue that on there. Really nice. And very carefully okay. I'm going to glue. You can use your glossy accents with this or, you know, if you feel confident with your glue gun, you can do it that way too. Now I'm going to snip away any excess I have here. And snip that little piece away. I'm going to wrap that on around and tack it down. Okay. I just don't snip away any little imperfections you have there. Now I'm going to get my smaller scissor. I need some new sharp scissors. Okay, there we go. And then you're just going to take a little piece. And you can put that right there. Like so. And then snip away. All right, well, I'm going to pull out some more items, and we're going to work on her hair and applying this to the board. Now, the way I'm going to apply it to the board is I'm going to use hot glue to put it on the board here. And what I might do is I'm going to start with her body first, her upper body, and then um because I've got, I'm done with as far as wrapping things around. Because if I get too much more on there, it's going to be really bulky. And then I won't be able to do nothing. So, um, what I'm going to do is hot glue her to the board. And when you do that, you just put a little bit of hot glue and you press and you hold. And you want to get around the edges when you hot glue her down. Now, if you don't have a hot glue gun, you can E6000 her, but you, if you do that, you're going to have to put weight on it, and you're going to have to let it set overnight. Um, 
glossy accents, um, you can do that, but again, you will have to hold it for about five minutes so that it'll stay tacky. But the most quickest way and the most secure way is hot glue. So um, I'm gonna hot glue her on, pull out some more elements to decorate her dress, and then I will be right back. Okay, I've changed my mind on the bodice. Now what I've done so far, as you can see here, I've applied um, liquid pearls. And then now I'm applying uh, some clear glittery um, stickles-like products. And I am making like little swirls to make it look like you know, a ruffled um, piece here. Um, I did not like the way the bulkiness of the um, the lace was doing. It, it it caused her waist to disappear, and I didn't want that. So. Um, as you can see there, that's what I did. So I have really got to let this dry. It's kind of dry for about an hour or so, um, because I don't want it to mess up or anything like that. And then after this dries, I will be back to finish up the decoration here and everything but all you do while the um, per liquid pearls is wet you just apply that glitter to it there and see it makes a really pretty piece and then I see a little area here that I can press down that trim. You always, when you work with dresses, always try to keep the waist um, in them because if you lose the waist, then it won't look right. But that's what it is so far. like that and while that's drying because it acts like a glue you can put a few pearls on there which is what I'm going to do I'm going to put a few pearls right there and then I'm going to put a couple pearls right here and then I'll snip off the pearl because I know I'm gonna they're you know going over so now it looks like you know the bodice is outlined in pearl so while that's drying, I will be back once it's dry because I don't want to mess it up or anything because I think it's really pretty. Um, and uh, in the meantime, I'll come up with uh, what I'm going to decide to do for her thing. This is almost turning into a wedding gown, so I don't know if I'll continue with that theme um, or just leave it, you know. Because I do have... Some jewelry findings here from May store and I might use some of this in there don't know from creating with detail store don't forget to um, order your um, supplies there there we go let me see how it would look with I'm 
No, I don't like that. All right, so I'm going to let this dry, and I'll be back. Okay, ladies, this is how it turned out, as you can see there. Um, the beading, and then I took, I broke that necklace up I was telling you about, and I put it on the headband here. And now what I'm going to do, hopefully you can see, um, I've got some flat back pearls here. And I'm just going to take a little dab of hot glue. And place some pearls all over the dress here onto the uh, embroidered piece that you can get at creatingwithdetailstore.com. Put one there. You know, you can put them in uh, no particular um, pattern, but I'm just going to place them on some of the flowers here. And also, by doing this, it will also weigh it a little bit so that it will hang um, nicely. can see here put one right there like so let's see where else do I want to put one oh I'm gonna put one right there Okay, there we go, and then, you know, you can um, also take a piece of the necklace from creativedetailstore.com and you can take the bling piece here and put it there if you want or use one of the earrings which is probably what I'm going to do I'm just going to lay it right there now this is a, a mixed media art dress um, it's just something fun and different to try with vintage photos see now you can have and then it's almost like a wedding dress like she's preparing for her wedding and it's spring and it's time for all of these wonderful weddings um, to happen and I'm gonna put a pearl there like that. I'm just going to keep decorating um, with the pearls. And this is what you do. You just have fun um, with these style dresses and um, products. And you just create what you want to do you can see there like put pearls and just have fun with it like that see all right and then if you want you can put um, a saying on there or you can leave it like this and it just set 
on a um, easel or wherever you want to put it. You can use this as a centerpiece on a table to mimic um, the bride's dress. Just whatever it is you want to do. And it's just simple and bellowy and so pretty. And again, this is a tablecloth, a lace tablecloth. Um, this piece here is from CreamWithDetailStore.com. It is like one of the neck pieces that comes into a V. And this uh, is some of the jewelry that she has in her store, um, the fashion jewelry. And then these are flat back pearls. And again, I have this photo in my Etsy store. Um, and all you have to do is uh, purchase and download it. It's ready for an 8.5 by 11 uh, board. Or you can get the free version from my um, uh, Pinterest board and of uh, the unaltered version and alter it yourself. But um, I really think it come out beautiful and see, you can just bellow it out really beautifully. And if you want, you can take um, you can detail out the tail here by taking um, a string of pearls and gluing them on there, but I don't know. I know that will look beautiful, and I might do that. So, because I want that line. So all you would do bring the fabric up to the pearls so that. As you can see here, just go along that line like that. You don't need much glue. And you know what? You can actually uh, bend this and uh, mold it like that, and it will help keep that dress bellowy. Like that. I wanted to hide this. So, and this will help incorporate the pearls in her bodice as well because these are the same pearls that I use in her bodice. Almost to the end here. Get another glue stick.
Oh yeah, that hat, yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So now what you can do is follow the, um, and just kind of bend it a little bit if you want, like that. And see, that helps, the pearls help make it bellowy. Like that. So, what I want you to do is I want to challenge you to just try this. Try this concept and have fun with it. Use laces and, and uh, different materials and everything and make a beautiful um, dress uh, motif and stuff. Using these simple techniques. See, look how that bellows out like that. Just so pretty. And um, have fun with this. Um, I encourage you to try this. Um, it's really simple. It's really fun. And it's a new way to use a vintage photo in a uh, fancy, um, nice way. And uh, I just love it. I love the way it, it come out. And just have fun. That's all crafting is about is having fun. And, and just creating and everything. So, and I love dresses. My dream is to one day design my own Barbie. Oh, that's my dream. One day to design my own Barbie. So, um, but I think it turned out beautiful. As you can see how it, if you set it up, it bellows out like this. Gorgeous for a tabletop, for a wedding, or a bridal shower. I can see these as a bridal shower um, thing you can do and put on each table and try to mimic the bride's dress, which would be very easy to do. Um, and uh, just, I love it. I just think it's so pretty and so cute. Very different, very shabby, chicy couture. And uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. The links will be in the description box down below. And um, like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. But I do appreciate all of you. And thank you so, so much for enjoying my tutorials. And again, I do apologize. It's been a while since I've done one. It's been about a week. A little over a week. I am still under the... Uh, you can tell from my voice I'm still under the allergies and everything and it's wonderful it's Tennessee spring so um, but again let me know if you have any questions or anything and uh, I will have this one up for sale in my Etsy as well so until next time bye bye stay for photos